In this video, we'll break down the nine outstanding upgrades confirmed so far for the 2025 Model Y Juniper. We will be covering everything from design changes and battery improvements to exciting new interior features. If you're on the fence about upgrading now or holding out for this refresh, we'll help you decide if waiting for the Juniper is the better option. Let's quickly go through this list. The first big update, let's talk about the new taillight design, which takes some bold inspiration from Tesla's futuristic Cybertruck. Recently leaked images show the Model Y sporting a sleek red LED light bar stretching across the rear of the vehicle with the Tesla logo centered on it. This fresh look is a departure from the current taillights, giving the Model Y a more modern, aggressive appearance. This design tweak has caught the attention of many Tesla enthusiasts, with some praising it as a bold move toward a more futuristic, tech-forward aesthetic. The continuous light bar creates a cohesive, streamlined look that makes the vehicle instantly recognizable, even at night. Drawing inspiration from the Cybertruck's design, the light bar isn't just for show. It hints at Tesla's overall shift toward more angular, striking design features across their vehicle lineup. Insider opinions have been mixed, but largely positive. Some automotive industry experts have pointed out that this new design aligns with Tesla's strategy to blend advanced technology with cutting-edge style. According to a recent report by Electrek, this updated taillight could be Tesla's way of differentiating the Model Y Juniper from its previous iterations and from competitors in the SUV market. A sleek, high-tech rear light setup could help cement the Juniper's place as the forward-thinking, luxury SUV for tech-savvy consumers. However, the change also raises questions. Tesla's design language has long been synonymous with a minimalist, clean aesthetic. Could this more aggressive styling signal a broader shift away from the company's traditional design ethos? Some Tesla purists may find the shift jarring, preferring the subtlety of the old taillight design, which blended more seamlessly into the vehicle's overall profile. Still, the leaked images suggest that Tesla is not afraid to take risks, and this could be a sign of more bold design choices in the future. Whether this is a temporary departure or the beginning of a new design era for Tesla, the Juniper's updated taillights are certainly sparking conversations. For many potential buyers, this fresh look is exciting and represents a step toward even more futuristic vehicle design while others will be watching closely to see how it fits into Tesla's broader design philosophy moving forward. Next up, let's talk about battery performance. Rumors from Germany suggest the Juniper might pack a much larger 95 kilowatt hours battery, a significant upgrade from the current 75 kilowatt hours. This could push the range of the Juniper to a staggering 400 to 500 miles on a single charge. If we go back memory lane, the Model Y first range was nowhere near what we are looking at now. When it launched in 2020, the initial Model Y came with a range of around 230 to 315 miles, depending on the variant. Over the years, Tesla has made gradual improvements to the battery and efficiency, pushing the range to the 330 mile mark in the long range version. But a jump to 500 miles would be a huge leap. A 500-mile range would make the Model Y Juniper not only a leader in the EV space, but also a serious competitor to traditional gas-powered SUVs in terms of long-distance driving. Imagine what that could mean for road trips or long commutes, fewer charging stops, and more time on the road. Drivers could comfortably travel from Los Angeles to San Francisco or New York City to Washington, D.C. without needing to stop for a recharge. This level of convenience could help ease concerns for those hesitant about switching to an EV due to range anxiety, the fear of running out of battery before finding a charging station. Another exciting aspect of this potential range upgrade is how it aligns with Tesla's ongoing development of its supercharger network. Tesla is continually expanding and improving its fast charging infrastructure. And with the Model Y Juniper's extended range, drivers will likely spend even less time charging on long trips. The combination of a high-capacity battery and Tesla's supercharger V4 technology, which promises faster charging speeds, could make the Model Y Juniper one of the most efficient and user-friendly electric vehicles on the market. Tesla's advancements in battery chemistry, such as the potential use of its 46 and 80 cells, could play a big role in this extended range. These cells are designed to store more energy, charge faster, and reduce the cost per kilowatt hour. 
If these new cells are indeed part of the Juniper's design, they could not only boost range, but also improve the vehicle's overall efficiency, durability, and performance. All of this points to the Juniper's potential to set a new standard for electric SUVs. The combination of a larger battery, advanced charging capabilities, and Tesla's continuous innovation in energy efficiency means that the Juniper could truly be a game changer for electric vehicle technology. For those who love taking long drives or just want the reassurance of extended range, the Model Y Juniper might be the perfect blend, blend of performance, convenience, and cutting edge tech. Tesla is continually refining its battery technology, especially with advancements in LFP, lithium iron phosphate batteries. These developments promise to improve range, efficiency, and charging speed. So let's move to the next one. Another huge innovation we're expecting is wireless charging. Tesla showcased this technology during the launch of their CyberCab and RoboTaxi projects. Could the Model Y be next? If so, you might be looking at a future where plugging in your vehicle becomes a thing of the past. During a presentation, CEO Elon Musk highlighted the CyberCab's wireless charging system, hinting that this feature could make its way into more Tesla models soon, including the Model Y. While it's not supercharging level speeds just yet, the convenience of wireless home or fleet charging would be a game changer. Moving inside, the ambient lighting system for the Juniper is set to elevate the driving experience. Drawing inspiration from the Chinese version of the Model 3, Tesla is adding dynamic RGB lighting to the front doors and dashboard, giving you the ability to customize the interior lighting based on your mood or preferences. Whether it's calming blue for nighttime or an energizing red for a road trip, this feature brings a new level of personalization to Tesla's minimalist interior. When it comes to seating options, Tesla is rumored to be adding a six-seater configuration to the Model Y Juniper, which could significantly enhance third-row comfort. Although this may be aimed more at the Chinese market, where premium seating is highly valued, it could eventually make its way to other regions. Competing with local EV makers like NIO and Li Auto, this new seating option could boost Tesla's appeal to families and luxury buyers. And speaking of comfort, ventilated seats are coming to the Model Y. This feature, previously limited to the more expensive Model S and X, is expected to trickle down to the Model Y Juniper, making hot summer drives a lot more bearable. It's a small luxury touch that really elevates the driving experience without compromising on Tesla's sleek design. Let's talk about steering a bit. The Juniper might follow Tesla's latest design trend by removing the traditional steering stalk. In line with what we've seen in the newer versions of the Model S and Model X, Tesla could be opting to replace the classic stock controls with touchscreen-based systems for functions like switching between driving modes, engaging the turn signals, and adjusting the wipers. This shift would undoubtedly give the Juniper a cleaner, sleeker, and more futuristic cabin layout, further emphasizing Tesla's focus on minimalist design. While this change could appeal to drivers who appreciate cutting-edge technology and the high-tech feel of an all-digital cockpit, it might also spark some controversy. There's a segment of Tesla owners and potential buyers who enjoy the tactile feedback of traditional controls. Many drivers are used to quickly flicking the turn signal or shifting between drive and reverse without having to look down, relying on muscle memory and the physical feel of the controls. Touchscreen controls, while modern and aesthetically pleasing, could require more attention from the driver, potentially leading to distractions. Moreover, Tesla's push toward a more digitally controlled driving experience could be seen as a step toward their larger vision of autonomous driving. The more control systems become digital, the more seamless it might be to integrate them with Tesla's full self-driving FSD features. But until full autonomy becomes the norm, it's possible that some users will miss the simplicity and intuitiveness of the old setup. Only time will tell if this bold move will be embraced by the broader driving community or spark debates about usability and driver preference. Now onto something that's been a concern for many Model Y owners, the suspension. Tesla is addressing this by incorporating selective frequency damping technology, first introduced with the Model 3 Highland Refresh. This advanced suspension system is designed to make the ride significantly smoother by reducing vertical body movements when driving over rough or uneven roads. 
this system could drastically improve the overall comfort for both the driver and passengers. Early reports suggest that this new suspension technology reduces road harshness by around 10 to 15 percent. While this might not sound like a huge difference on paper, in practice, it could mean a noticeable improvement in how the Model Y handles daily city drives as well as longer highway trips. For urban drivers, navigating less than perfect streets or those who frequently take longer road trips, this improvement could make a big difference. Less road vibration means less fatigue over time and a generally more pleasant driving experience. Tesla's decision to incorporate this in the Juniper refresh could address one of the few remaining pain points for some current Model Y owners. With the new suspension system, the ride quality could be smoother than ever before, making the Juniper not only faster and more technologically advanced, but also more comfortable and enjoyable to drive. And finally, the big one, full self-driving, FSD. The Juniper is set to launch with Tesla's AI5 hardware, which promises to dramatically improve autonomous driving. Tesla has made significant strides in artificial intelligence, and the new hardware is expected to take FSD to the next level. This development has sparked widespread excitement among Tesla enthusiasts, as it brings the company one step closer to achieving its ambitious goal of creating fully autonomous vehicles. Tesla's director of autopilot software recently shared that the upcoming FSD version 13, powered by this new AI5 hardware, is nearly production ready. This means that the Juniper Refresh could be the first Tesla vehicle equipped with a truly next-generation self-driving system. The company has been working tirelessly on refining its AI algorithms, sensors, and neural networks to enhance the car's ability to navigate complex road scenarios with minimal human intervention. One of the key advancements in the AI5 hardware is its improved processing power. This allows the vehicle to process real-time data from its surroundings more efficiently, enabling quicker decision-making and smoother handling in challenging driving conditions. The AI5 hardware will also enhance the car's ability to handle various road situations, such as dense traffic, intersections, and unpredictable pedestrian behavior. This level of autonomy brings Tesla closer to achieving the coveted Level 5 autonomy, where the car can operate without any human input. If you're excited about the potential of fully autonomous driving, this update could make the Juniper the best choice yet for a hands-free driving experience. Imagine commuting to work, running errands, or taking long road trips without ever having to touch the steering wheel. With FSD V13 and the AI5 hardware, Tesla owners could enjoy a seamless and stress-free driving experience that, that feels more like being chauffeured by a highly intelligent system than driving a car. It's important to note that while FSD has made impressive progress, regulatory approval for fully autonomous driving is still a work in progress. Tesla's FSD package, even with AI5 hardware, will likely continue to require drivers to stay attentive and ready to take over in case of emergency. That said, the improvements in this update bring the company closer than ever to achieving true self-driving capabilities and Tesla's commitment to continuously refining its technology keeps them at the forefront of the autonomous vehicle revolution. In addition to the technical upgrades, the FSD experience will also be enhanced by the user interface improvements that Tesla has been working on. The redesigned interface will offer more intuitive controls and provide real-time feedback on the vehicle's decision-making processes, giving drivers greater confidence in the system's abilities. This, coupled with regular software updates, means that the Juniper's FSD system will continue to evolve and improve over time, making it an even more compelling option for those interested in autonomous driving. The combination of AI5 hardware and FSD V13 makes the 2025 Tesla Model Y Juniper Refresh a standout choice for tech-savvy drivers who are eager to experience the future of transportation. Whether you're a current Tesla owner looking to upgrade or a first-time buyer interested in cutting-edge technology, the Juniper's FSD capabilities may just be the feature that tips the scales in its favor. Finally, the last one, there's also talk of a refreshed color palette. Following Tesla's factory upgrades in Berlin, new paint options like Ultra Red and the mesmerizing Midnight Cherry Red could make their way to the Juniper. Tesla's Berlin factory is currently one of the most advanced automotive plants in the world, 
equipped with cutting-edge paint application systems. These systems allow for a broader range of color options, each with a higher quality finish and durability. Ultra Red, which has already been featured in Tesla's limited editions, is a deep, vibrant hue that stands out from the more muted color choices available in earlier Tesla models. Similarly, similarly, Midnight Cherry Red offers a rich dark tone with subtle metallic undertones, making it a sophisticated choice for those looking to add a touch of elegance to their Model Y. These new colors are also a reflection of Tesla's ongoing efforts to enhance the visual appeal of their vehicles. Tesla has often been criticized for offering a limited selection of exterior colors compared to traditional automakers, and this move could be seen as a res response to customer demand for more variety and personalization. In addition to the aesthetic benefits, the new paints are expected to offer better protection against wear and tear, including scratches and environmental damage, thanks to advanced layering techniques used in Tesla's Berlin facility. So. When can you expect to see the 2025 Tesla Model Y Juniper hit the road? Reports suggest it could launch as early as the first quarter of 2025 in China and Europe. If you're trying to decide whether to buy the current Model Y or wait for the Juniper, you now have a clearer picture of what's coming. These updates are shaping up to make the Model Y Juniper a significant upgrade over its predecessors. Will these changes be worth the wait? Let us know in the comments what feature you're most excited about.